Hi, and welcome to the Carolina Sports District, the number one youth sports show in the Carolinas, also known as TCSD. Let's go. Welcome back, guys. So, we will have our pound for pound top 20 rankings this year, and we are looking to crown our new champion. We've had a chance to catch a few scrimmages and a few games, but we will definitely be out at fields looking for more. We want to see who is the best of the best. Keep an eye out for us, and keep an eye here on the show to find out who tops out our top 20 rankings. All right, now we get to move into the highlights. We had a chance to spend the entire day at West Mech High School last weekend where we checked out the AYF teams. They had some new teams on the field this year, so you'll get a chance to see those in our highlights coming right now. All right, so we start the day off with the 8U Wolfpack versus the Valentine Gators. 8U play on an 80 yard field instead of 100 yards. For a lot of these guys, it was their very first game. The tech was seen natural is the Gators laying nice one there. Don't worry because the Wolfpack defense took the name literally. Swarming the Gators offense as well. We possibly have another Adrian Peterson in the making. Making a nice run here. One cut, breaking three tackles, and heading to the house for the game's first touchdown. Wolfpack will take the scoreboard 7-0. Gators will not waste any time scoring themselves featuring their, their version of Cam Newton just two plays later with a quarterback sneak that will go for 65 yards in the big boys league. Game tied at 7-7 at halftime. Moving after halftime, Wolfpack will score again on the ground delivering a stiff arm on the play. Wolfpack win this one 20-7. to All right, moving up in age now, in the team view, we have the UCD Irish taking on the Valentine's Gators. Irish start the game with the ball and get momentum going early with a 40-yard gain down the sideline. The very next play will result in the game's first touchdown, Iris lead 7-0. Gators offense couldn't really get anything going early, but their defense stepped up with this big hit here. Gators defense remained strong, keeping the Irish from scoring again, giving their offense one last play to try to score and tie the game. But they've run out of time and the Irish wins. Shutout fashion, 7-0. to zero. Next game is the 12U, Dorada versus the Gators again. Gators organization, 0 for 2 on the day. And their 12U were anxious to, to change that. Making a quick score, going up early, 0-8. to eight. Gators D looked pretty sound, making a great tackle right here early in the game. Dorada was forced to punt, and the Gators took full advantage through their special teams, taking this one to the house 45 yards, if he can stay in bounds. And he does, and now the Gators go up 16 to zero. So far, Gators have scored on special teams and through the run game. Now they're trying to show that they also have a passing attack as well with this screen. And check out the stiff arm and some acrobatics. Gators adding more points, leading now 24-0. Dorado, however, avoids a shutout with a last minute score but the Gators win big this time, sending a statement, 46 to six. All right, next we have the 14U Irish versus Gators. This will be a defensive battle as we jump to the third quarter with the game still scoreless, zero to zero. Gators rush, forces an interception. Gators then decide to go to the air themselves, resulting in the game's first touchdown. Leading the game now, six to zero. With time still on the board, however, Irish will put together a drive with this amazing catch. It looked like it, it could have been an interception, but somehow the Irish came down with that ball. That's called fighting to the end. Irish deep in the Gator territory with only 32 seconds left in the game, and a touchdown would tie, and if they got the point after, that would take the lead and possibly the win. But the Gators make a game-winning interception, coming out on top on a nail-biter, 6-0. to zero. All right, moving away from the Gators now, and the Irish, we move to the eight you the little guys again, as the Providence Volunteers take on the Cardinals. Early in the game, Cardinals fumble will be recovered by the balls. Volunteers capitalize with the, with the go-ahead touchdown, taking the lead six to zero. Cardinals would attempt to answer right back with a run 
breaking tackles, but is swarmed by volunteers. Volunteers get the ball back and got to the end zone after showing excellent balance, scoring from 44 yards out. Volunteers extend their lead to 12 0 and will go ahead and win the game 18 0. All right, moving to the Team U as the Volunteers and the Cardinals play again. We have a scoreless game in the third quarter. The Cardinals will come out and connect on a 30 yard pass. However, the Volunteers will make a game saving interception because this one goes into overtime. Overtime almost becomes a disaster for the Cardinals. Fortunately, they recover their own fumble. Now fourth down on the Cardinals, last chance before they uh, give the Volunteers a chance to score, Cardinals actually score, running right up the middle. Cardinals lead now 6-0. Volunteers get a chance to either tie the game or possibly take the win if they can convert the PAT after the touchdown. Moving to fourth down, Volunteers can't can't quite get in the end zone. Cardinals win this one, 6-0. Now we have the 12 new Volunteers versus Charlotte Cardinals. Opening kickoff, check this out. Volunteers seem to be confused, not, really, not realizing that once that ball hits the ground from the kickoff, it's a live ball, and the Cardinals recover. That mistake will become crucial, but this may have been the biggest hit of the day. However, Cardinals will put out a little trickery, completing this pass. Can he stay on his feet? Yes. And this one goes for 62 yards and a touchdown on the stat sheet. Cardinals lead 6-0. Cardinals will find the end zone again, this time from 35 yards out. Volunteers finally get a drive put together and score through the air on a 20-yard completion. But the Cardinals ain't going to this win winning 12 to 6. Now we move to the final game of the day as the 14U Volunteers take on the 14U Cardinals. This first highlight will be on a punt return. Cardinal punt return tricks everybody making them think that he's not going to pick up the ball. But he does. He, he hits this, that sideline at full sprint. And he's taking this one to the house. 66 yards out. Hashtag play of the day. Cardinals lead this 6 to 0. Have you ever heard of a cha-cha slide? Because this is exactly what this play reminds me of. Is the Cardinals offense reverse, reverse the size of the field. And one cut this time. <laughs> slide to the end zone. 12-0 Cardinals. All right, Volunteers facing the 4th and 9. Desperately needing some type of conversion to get the going to possibly get back in his game. And they get it right up the middle with a great tough run there. Now, one of the most bizarre plays of the day, the Volunteers complete a tough reception. Then he breaks tackles kind of moves a pile, and fumbles. Then that fumble is recovered by his own teammate, who takes it to the house. And the volunteers are on the board, and only down six to 12 at the end of the half. Moving to late in the fourth quarter, Cardinals still lead. Volunteers are on fourth down, but in, score, but in scoring position. But the Cardinals make a big stop. One play later, the volunteers defense make a stop of their own, getting two points on the board with the safety. Volunteers down there, eight to 12. Volunteers get one last chance to win the game, but the Cardinals defense step up one more time, forcing a strip sack fumble, and takes it to the house for a touchdown. Cardinals win 18 to 8. The tip of the week this week is to get as much rest as you can. Don't stay up late at night talking on the phone, texting on your phone, watching TV, unless you're watching us on YouTube. Just kidding. Go to sleep. Wake up well rested, have a good day at school, and be ready to bring your best on the field. All right, the game of the week is back. This week we have the 14U U City Irish versus the Mint Hill Chargers. Well, me lads, do you think that the Irishmen will come in and have a lucky day, or will the lightning bolt Chargers set the field on fire? Bring your lucky charms, and we will find out. All right, and that brings another episode to a close. Thank you so much for checking in with us today. Remember to keep in touch with us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and to catch us each week here on YouTube. And as we always say, there you have it!